Or maybe he just didn't like the Steve and he's like, you know what? I'm just gonna keep on playing Luigi. You know, I may not build blocks, but I build combos. That's what I heard. Yes, sir. And the thing about Luigi players that they're also really committed to that character. Cause like there's like five Luigi's. <laughs> there's five Luigi's actually doing something. Here Ash is looking like a solid number two, maybe number one. Depends on the day, but let's see if today he's got the chops, because we're getting into game one. Yeah. So here we go. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, I think the thing is about this matchup that's a little scary, but also works out in your favor, is that, yes, you are a big combo food as a DDD, but more often than not, like, I don't think there's, I don't think the, con the zero death combo works on him. He might be actually too uh, heavy or uh, to die to that zero death. So at least he can uh, avoid that, but I'm not completely sure. So I'm going to have to see if that actually comes into play. Doesn't seem like we're actually doing that right now. It's just a lot of zoning. Uh, no grabs here from Kiarash yet, which is like, you know, a big part of Luigi's gameplay. Yeah. I mean, he's also have the big danger range for the grab because you can't, well, sometimes you can zero to death. They have to modify the combo a little bit and maybe have some rage. But the thing that makes this matchup really annoying for DD is that you get the down throw up B and the percent window is pretty huge for it. Yeah. So, the, like, you can't get grabbed around like 110 to like one like 40 or something like that. It's pretty obscene. So, like, right now, basically, he's, yep. uh, yeah, he's, he's in trouble. He managed to get away from that grab, but. Uh, I think that was mostly because the grab was actually too far away. So there's another thing about this match that's kind of annoying too. I'm pretty sure Azair just beats Gordo's and as, as well as uh, Luigi's fireball, which is kind of just out usually all the time. So, mm. you know, he yeah. is, he has to find a way to back in here. Good grab right there, 16% on that uh, back throw. And that's another grab right there, getting the forward uh, throw and pushing him off. This is, uh, this definitely turned around very quickly right here for Epic Alito. Nice back air and he finishes it off, okay. Love to see it. Love to see it. I mean, like, as a career DD, like, I know how this goes. A lot of times you're going to get destroyed early on, but you'll get the stock first a lot of times. And if you don't, then that's when things got to start to go south. Kalito keeping their composure and being able to find that back air. And it's really all about the mental in this matchup. If Kirash decides to um, just keep on playing on the back foot and just keep on hanging back, I think he'll do fine. But the moment you start to rush in, that's what DD wants. DD wants you to fight him. Yeah, look at this man. He's definitely staying on his platform, staying in the skies. Trying to avoid oh. any... Oh. Mm. oh! Wow! Okay! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is very strong. I just didn't know it was that strong. Jeez! Yeah. You I mean, there was like no idea. There was no chance for him coming back, too. Just 65% uh, and he gets that up B. He's gone. Yeah, I think so. Okay. I like how KRS is recovering a lot, just throwing out those fireballs and not giving Kalito a chance to get those Gordos out there, which is the worst case scenario. When DD has a Gordo on stage, that's his territory. You just don't, you just want to hang on to ledge or just avoid that situation entirely. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this matchup definitely looks a little rough for uh, DD. I don't even a little, just a lot of rough, man. Uh, you know, the, you're getting brawled down basically by uh, one of the best combo characters in the, uh, in the game. And, you know, they just stay on you. They're sticky. They got a great uh, way to get back down to the ground, too, with down B. So, and a, and a ranged grab. Rough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this matchup is one of those matchups that I feel like is a vibe check for most DDs because you can't rely on Gordo neutral in this matchup. You can, like, Luigi can fireball on reaction, as we've seen so many times from Kirash. Or even if they don't fireball on reaction, just retreat, throw out a fireball, and then you can't really get too much out of it. Oh, mm -hmm. that misfire kind of screwed him over there. Yeah, put him, I mean, still just took another back air, but okay, fine. Well, he did fight his way through that for a bit, but still found the uh, hit of the Gordo. It's the, yeah, that's the real trap right there. You get put on the edge uh, with the Gordos kind of looming over you. Get back. Oh, is that it? Okay, I was about to say, not like this. <laughs> yeah, had the right idea, but uh, not quite. And these Gordos, they're really not netting much advantage for him at all when you're thrown out in neutral. And as a matter of fact, I feel like he has to have eaten at least 80 to 90 percent this game alone from throwing out Gordo's neutral. Yeah. Up throw, uh, back throw. Back throw, up throw. Try to go for the up throw instead. Okay. Yeah. Back throw is a bit further, but DD does die off the sides way earlier than off the top, so. Yeah. All right. Finds the, uh, finds the back air there, and I don't know, I don't really know if this is going to be the big comeback, but I mean, the DD does have big swing and hits. If he was able to find like an F smash, like Aaron, or a dash attack on the edge like that, he's looking for it. Nice Ooh. interception on that Gordo, but getting two framed, you don't get your jumps back. All right, we're going to be able to make it back, push them off stage. That's actually really bad. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, he, he did 
not get the grab. He actually misspaced it and just walked straight into an up smash. Yeah. It's one of those ones that's hard to gauge. Excellent um, reaction right there by Kiarash to just fade all the way back. Because a lot of times people kind of half commit to the fade back. Because like, oh, DD is not that fast. I can, you know, get something in there before I get grabbed. But Kiarash using that spacing as a bait. And Kalito took it hook, line, and sinker. I'm thinking like... <clears throat> I'm thinking like maybe it would have been uh, better for him to just like maybe do like that little little walk up uh, uh, four tilt. You no, know, it's like got, it's got some up. good range, and on top of that, like if he would have got with just the hammer, would have been nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, any hit is better than no hit, and any hit is infinitely better than losing the game. Yeah. Okay. It's so far, these guys are scrapping. Yeah, man, just kind of let the game unfold real quick so we uh, see what happens here. Now, again, there it is. Just a little four-piece yeah. <laughs> out of nowhere. Got one got one fair, and then after that, it was near fair, fair. Um, I I think this is about exactly what you kind of expect from Kalita right here. He does have to play this like kind of like runaway game, use his, uh, his range to his advantage when playing against Luigi, but he doesn't want to be so far away that he's still taking fireball pressure, so. Standing pretty much in that, like, oh, okay, you're wild for that one. In that uh, four tilt range. Mm. That could have been a way harder punish, but unfortunate that, you know, the analysis paralysis happens to all of us. Yep, been there. But nice up air right there by Kiarash, just buying some more space and finally getting him off the ledge. That's where Kalito's bread and butter is. The ledge play is amazing, but on stage, Kiarash, it's really more, his neutral to lose. All right. Get that Gordo the heck out of here. I don't, you know what? Like the idea, should have committed to that just a little earlier to get that spike, but still the up tilt does find the mark. And now we got a little bit of a lead here from uh, Kalito. Yeah, I saw one of that. I mean, as long as you, uh, I was about to say, avoid being at this range, avoid getting grabbed, but oh, he was just a little bit too high from the stars, not recognizing that his feet weren't planted on the ground. That likely would have been a stock with that uh, down throw up the... Yeah. Gotta get back onto the ledge here, or onto the stage, and so get into the stage right quick. And now, again, just, you know, gonna be playing this very, like, almost jigs as game of the, with these back airs, floating and, and putting out a hitbox behind you to uh, disencourage, or, you know, yeah, disencourage your uh, person from trying to uh, come at you. Oh. Discourage. But that DI mix up right there. Yikes. Yeah, I tried to hold in to get that Gordo in there, but iframes on the tornado were not having any of that. Yeah. All right, man. I don't know. I mean, he's got the, like, the thing. Oh. The thing is, obviously, you do have the lead here. So, like, why not, uh, you know, why not play a little further back? But again, like, Luigi does have a good way of, like, putting a hitbox out in front of you. Uh, up front of him and then chase him behind it, so. Okay, that was an optimal punish right there. You're gonna get a lot of You could kill, oh my God. You could have ended that man's whole career. All right. Oh, no, oh, I thought he got footstool for real. No, it was just, it was just the sound. Yeah. He managed to make it back. No, no real footstool action. And again, that, those, uh, Gordo's actually really helping stop these recoveries here from Kiarash. Yeah. I got shook. I got shook. All right, let's see what the mix-up is. Goes for the dash attack, not giving him time to set up the Gordo. And now he's timing the Gordo tosses a little bit later. So if your hammer's out there when another hitbox hits it, and the hammer's like still uh, just about to swing, you have a good chance of just knocking it straight at your opponent even faster. So yeah. solid adjustment by Kalito, and that's going to be what gets him another uh, stock lead right now. That was actually really good. Uh, good uh, spacing or good bait, I guess, to get that back here, man. Kind of like forced Kirash to think like, yeah, you got a dash check in here and got the free punish. Kirash, man, looking for these grabs real bad, but not being able to uh, capitalize on any of this so far. Step back real quick. Yeah, and not able to capitalize a good part of it because. Okay, that time he ends up uh, getting a kill confirm off of it, but I feel like a lot of times he's not looking for the grabs, maybe because they're just, you know, too telegraphed. But, you know, you gotta make your opponent um, react and respect it first, is the thing. Like, if they haven't given you any reason to stop, no reason to stop. Mm. Hey, okay, quick back here, and yep, take that as well, right to the dome. Nice. 
There's another back air. And an up tilt. Let's see if we can get a DI mix up. This could kill. No, he DI's it well enough. Those buffs at D's up air a few patches ago were obscene. Now we can kill people super early in a battle of the Gordo right there, but the iframes come through from the tornado. I'm expecting... Okay, Kirash not taking the bait, not going for an up smash. It's very rarely worth it unless you consistently count DDD's jumps in. Most DDD's at this level won't give you a good opportunity to get the beat on that. Yeah. All right, man. Well... Uh, I feel as though uh, this game definitely kind of got down to the wire, and I wasn't expecting to because I feel like the way that uh, Kalito was playing, like he he been doing a really good job of just holding his lead. Um, nice. And there it is, gets the victory. Yeah. Hmm. It comes down to the up smash I was just talking about a minute ago, and just what I was saying at the beginning of the set, when you like start to go for things like that against CDD in those you know do or die situations, that's when you tend to lose. Because D to D always has, you know, always keeps one jump in his pocket. You never exactly know unless like you're counting and like you're really, really familiar with the matchup. And on top of that, usually going for things like that is a sign of cracking. And when you do that against DD, that's when things get exponentially worse. All right, man. Uh, are we? I, I wonder if like we're gonna get a swap of character at some point in time in here from Epic Kalito. I don't really think he needs to do anymore. I think he pretty much figured out how to play this matchup. It is a little more slow paced, but it is kind of what he has to do, you know? Yeah, and ultimately, this matchup, in, in previous iterations, it was always like a do or die matchup. Or just, I'm saying on the other side of the stage, we're going to have this live scrimmage and we're just going to wait this out and whoever cracks first loses. It looks like we're going the latter route this time around. And that can lead to some slow burn gameplay, but a lot of mind games and tension growing between two players. Whoever has a strong mental will take yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's, as a Luigi player, uh, you pretty much like have to get used to this, I this idea that you're going to be chasing people around the stage. Like, no one's approaching Luigi, you know? Like, you, you, you mess up one time, you end up dead. So no one's really approaching Luigi. That's just part of the, the territory of playing this character. Mm. Yeah, if you get mad for someone running away and camping, it's like, you don't understand how people have to fight your character because this is what it should look like. No one wants to fight Luigi hands-on unless it's another Luigi or someone who can do, like, even more. Which I can't think of very, few, very many characters who can keep up in terms of damage output at, at close quarters. All right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, pretty much the close quarters. It's, it's just not it's just not what you're trying to get into. Uh, to. And, like, the, you can tell just basically the way that Kalito's playing. Like, he's very aerial. He's definitely trying to avoid grabs as much uh, as possible. Yeah. What I would like to see from Kirash is, oh, like, maybe just calling out those jumps a bit more with, like, a jump forward air. He's, like, running up, um, waiting for some sort of a reaction to come out and just jump forward air. And just to condition and seal off that option a little bit more. Because when DD can jump for free, what a Ooh, tech. Ooh! What okay. a tech. But yeah, when DD can jump for free. That was super nice. Yeah. When DD can jump for free, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. All right, man. So th what we have not seen so far has been, like, I don't think we've seen, like, a single good grab combo from Kirash, which is good gameplay from Kalito. It's not like Kirash isn't, you know, it's not for the lack of trying. It's just look at the way that Kalito's playing right now. Avo avoiding touch, the, the ground is lava for sure. And he is like, you know what? I'm just not gonna touch that until you're, I'm at least out of range of getting uh, thrown and, and KO to death. Nice forward air yet again, the spacing on that, going straight out for it. Nice. Yeah. The DDD, like, I mean, what were you gonna do? That was the wall right there. Mm -hmm. You're done. If your character doesn't have the air speed and you already burned your air dodge. Like, you could maybe pray for a misfire, but other than that, it... Actually, I don't even know if you could have made it back after that. Yeah, it's just hard. All right. Four back air. All right, grabs a little fireball action as well, and... Ooh, I thought we were gonna... Uh, I thought we were gonna actually end up getting a grab this time around, but yeah, no, it's just... The spacing uh, here from Kalito, just so good. And, and the, the 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 style style of gameplay obviously yeah maybe may not be the most interesting or the most uh you know entertaining but it is definitely effective in avoiding a lot of damage here from uh, from Luigi. Yeah, both of them are kind of forced to play the matchup like this. 
Granted, Kirash, to be honest, he could be doing less and getting away with it. He could just like stand and just throw some fireballs and force Cleo to do something about it. But still vying for a position to grow that lead. And I do respect that because if you, you know, have an even bigger lead against DV like this, then they have to approach you. You get a grab, they eat like 60, 70, 80, and it's hard going after that. Yeah. All right. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was kind of like a bait. I mean, basically, obviously, people always want to jump out of shield, but he was already facing backwards. So that was a good call out of the jump. Yeah, exactly what I was saying before earlier. Once you start to seal away that jump option and make them think about jumping in your face, then you they have to stay grounded. And when you're grounded against uh, Luigi, we know what's going to happen. All right. Okay. Get back to the to the platform play, you know. And like, yeah, I mean, this is all Kirash can really do. Uh, basically throwing out some fireball. That could have been the grab right there, though, but I, I don't think he believed into it. Uh, believed in it. So it just goes for the forward air instead. AF tilt. Oh. You're actually maybe getting a bit too antsy. Doesn't need to be taking all these risks. Have a stock lead and not in a huge danger situation yet. Well, now he is. Don't. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, but the Gordo stuck on the ledge. Ah, uh, you were you were done there. You were done. That was just awful luck. <laughs> yeah. So again, man, just a little bit of uh of a percent lead here. But Kia Rash. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Uh, honestly, man, this no grab style is, is pretty interesting to watch, man. Because I'm so used to seeing like Luigi just get so many grabs and all this free damage off that. But like now he has to just gotta get string together some stuff, uh, here and there, to like to like find the hits all the way up to the whatever he can get the kill percentage to be and yeah i mean this lead is definitely starting to stack up here uh kalito still stuck on the platforms he has nothing else he can really do uh while kirash i mean he's definitely okay with just just chilling out you know hang back a bit let your opponent come to you because this is where people throw leads against tvd right here in this moment where you see the numbers start to turn red it's like oh i can kill i don't have to like you know wait patiently and play this wall game anymore and then he hits you like once and you're off stage on the ledge. The Gordo's there and you're wondering just what went wrong. Yeah. So Kirash playing very, very wise. All right. So I don't, yeah, I don't really see how uh, Ecclito's going to get back into this game. I think we're going to a game four here with uh, the lead on the Kirash side. I mean, just this, we only have a minute left into to the gameplay. Kalito uh, has to make some type of uh advances here but no not gonna get that just right out the game with the down throw into the down b i was gonna say man like after a while you're gonna have to get up there and approach because like you're, you're behind the time is when uh you know winding down and kirash has obviously figured out that he can just sit on the platforms and throw uh fireballs and be safe from gordos while still a adding on a little damage here and there yeah and for what it's worth i mean on small battlefield especially, DD does have the um, tools to force the issue a bit more. But you can't rely on Gordo too much. You just kind of have to stand just outside of grab range and, you know, maybe even hold up shield and try and react to the dash. But other than that, just kind of wait. Just, like, stand there and use that positioning to your advantage because they're going to have to jump or go through the you. And if they jump, you can force a ledge situation and then the damage will start to rack up in your favor. But if you aren't in a position, if you're throwing out Gordos, then... It's really hard to force any big issues. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, back to this stage. And <laughs> this man says, let's smash, bro. So this, uh, we're going to get right back to the same gameplay we probably saw in the last game. Uh, although I do think that, honestly, Kalito might be able to play the ground a little better and just kind of drop, maybe more, like, more F-tilts, you know, keeping that space and control in front of him because he's depending very much on these Gordos, and I just don't think that that's helping too much for him. Yeah. Okay, down low, complete. Yeah, Goodbye. zero to death. Yep. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, Kirash said, I mean, he's not, he's not even getting like the full grab combos. He's just finding the good hits right there. That was a nice one. And now back onto the stage. Ah, uh, grab? Yeah. Yep, there it is. Ooh, ah, ooh. Could be it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Almost killed him. Almost KO'd him. Oof. And it's a very, very rough start. I think Kirash just put together all the pieces after that rat last game, just seeing how much DD has to do to really work to get in against this character. And if you're not like in a position where you have the resources to do that, be it through percent or stock, then it's it looks like this. It just looks like this. Well, ow. you know, I, I 
uh, it's not really much I can say in the, in the way for Kalito. This match has definitely escaped him. Uh, the grabs are finally starting to come out for Kia Rash. Uh, you know, honestly, just the combos, even without the grabs, are still showing up. He's getting his, like, nice, nice little two and three hits right in front of him. There's the grab. Boom. Oh, can't get the full thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know what Kalito can do here. Like, you have to go maybe for some, y yep, YOLO plays like F smashes, dash stacks, and just get something, aim to shake that foundation, and then go from there, take it one step at a time. But, uh... Other than that, it's it's hard, man. It's so yeah. difficult. <laughs> As someone who's been on this position so many times, it's it's a rough life for DDD when you're down two stocks. Oh, is that gonna okay? I was like, is that gonna take? No, but that was nice. A little conversion off that nair into uh, the down B. I just yeah. I mean, he's air dodging away from that edge, but you're not gonna be able to do that too often, uh, too much more often. All right, bro. Yeah. He's, he's, I mean, this, he's got this download for sure. This is about to be a three stock. And if it isn't, it's yeah. going to be at least like a, a very low percent too. And the fourth tilt. Yeah, there we go. Finally gets the stock. But I mean, at 151 on your last stock against Luigi, you land on him wrong and that's it. Yeah. All right, scan dash attack there. No reason to go for anything too wild. Yep, just get on that platform. Get under that umbrella and wait the rain out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, he's getting only the weak bears, bro. Uh, Kalito's actually living very luckily because all these bears that have hit have been a uh, weak from Luigi. The grab, down throw. Take a little up air action. This is a lot of rage, too, though, so he could get it. Oh, wait. What is happening? Don't do it. Okay, yeah, just wait that out. Oh, wait okay. for him to get back on stage, yeah. Playing with the food a bit too much, but Kira Ash always has the key to victory at the end of the day. Yeah, I just... Uh... I'm not sure why he got up off that ledge so quickly. Or or without I mean, like he's been getting hit by that tornado so often. That but that was probably the time to let go of the ledge and go for the up air through the stage, you know? But uh regardless, still a great uh set overall. Um, you know, just showing how like like the way that Luigi had to play that one. You know, obviously you're you're used to seeing the whole like, oh I'm grabbing you and getting free combos all day, but he couldn't really get that until the very last game. Um and yeah, there were some nice adjustments there uh throughout, but like obviously a full on download um at the end. Yeah, Luigi with the download is one of the scariest things of the game. Like the Terminator, you know he's walking forward, you know he's going to do something bad, but you don't know what. I I don't want to be on the other end of that. You're just going to get grabbed, you're going to get absolutely mauled, and uh, it's really, really hard to play around that. But do you 